What's going on YouTube? So with today's video, I'm going to give you my top five Bulgari or Bulgari fragrances. I, I have not touched this brand or I have not done a top five of this brand at all. So this is going to be a little bit new. All right. So fragrance number one is going to be Bulgari Man in Black, which came out in 2014, I believe. I ended up getting this very bottle in New York in the spring of 2017. And I know that because I ended up getting this at like Century 21 or, or one of those discounters on off Broadway. All right, so this is the one here. So the note breakdown for this one here is leather, spices, rum, iris, tonka bean, tobacco, guyac wood, and so on. So what do you get is that with me, I get lots of spices, lots of booze or rum, there's leather, and there's woods. This is a very masculine scent, very dark, deep, it's a little bit mysterious, it's a little bit of a bad boy type of fragrance, but at the same time, it's a gentleman's fragrance, it's a gentleman's scent. So if you're a gentleman with a bit of an edge like James Bond, this is what this kind of is, because James Bond does like to drink his martinis. This is a great fall and winter fragrance. Longevity off this is eight to nine hours. Projection is quite monstrous, and when I would wear this one, this is more of a suit and tie type of fragrance. It's a night out type of scent, so something where you kind of have to dress up in a, you know, like something fashionable, nothing really, something like this. But this is not a, a university type of fragrance. This is for someone who is 25, in older I find. And it's also a great semi-formal and black tie type of set. Next one, Bulgari Man Extreme. So this is just a little travel spray and this is all I need. This fragrance here is not exactly extreme. I thought that this was gonna be a very heavy fragrance. It really is not, it's, it really isn't. So the note breakdown for this one here is vetiver, freesia, cardamom, or like Guatemalan cardamom and uh, Haitian vetiver, I should say. Citruses, cactus juice, which is quite interesting, and woody notes. What I pretty much get is that I do get that vetiver. I get a slight white floral touch from the freesia. You most certainly get the woods, the citruses, and what makes this one a little bit unique, but it's not exactly a unique scent, but the note that does make it unique is that cactus juice. The cactus juice kind of gives it I don't want to say like a juicy quality, but it does add a green touch to this one here. I, I think it's a great underrated scent that does not get a lot of mention in our online fragrance community. This is more of a spring and summertime scent. You could dress this one down to something, I don't want to say overly casual, but something where it's like, let's say, uh, a white t-shirt, jeans, and some nice shoes to something that's more of a daytime semi-formal event. I personally would not really say that this is a tuxedo event. You know, if you want to wear to a tuxedo event, by all means, go ahead. But this really does not have a night out or a nighttime feel. It's just, I find it's not exactly, as I said, extreme. Uh, you know, when I'm thinking extreme, I'm thinking that there's gonna be like more spices to it. There's maybe some leather or some amber. This really is not. It's it's not really an extreme version than the original Bulgari Man. I think that this one came out in like 2013. The original came out in 2010. But this is a great scent for, you can wear it if you're a college student, but I find, again, someone who is a little bit older, I would say 30 and up. But for me, this is a great office fragrance. Longevity, six to eight hours. Next fragrance, I believe that this one gets a little bit of flack from the online fragrance community. I think it's a great scent. It's one that I did not buy with my own money. It was a gift from the in-laws. This is gonna be Bulgari Man Wood Essence. Just like the name itself, you're gonna get lots of wood. So pretty much woods and citruses. But the woods for this one here are gonna be cedar, cypress, you're gonna get some citruses, lemon zest, coriander leaf, and benzoin. I find that this is more of a spring, summer, but also fall scent, but I think that this is a great springtime fragrance. And this is a fragrance that's quite versatile, but I don't wanna say it's too casual, nor is it too formal. For me, I think that this would be a great office scent. Longevity off this is six to seven hours. Next fragrance is gonna be the latest release from this brand. It's gonna be Bulgari Man Glacial Essence or Essence, if you wanna sound really suave. 
So the note breakdown for this one here are juniper berries, gin, sandalwood, clearwood. You're also going to get musk, orris, and there's a few citruses to this one here. I believe it's either grapefruit or lemon. I don't think that bergamot is in this one, but I could be wrong. This is what you're really going to get is woods, ginger, and that's pretty much it with citruses. The ginger is the most prominent note to this scent, and that's what kind of gives it that glacial feel, that, that nice cooling feel that you're gonna get from this scent. This all around is more of a casual kind of scent. I find it's good for school, but more so for a university or a college student. As I said, casual, but at the same time, you could wear it to work. This is not really a night out type of scent. It's not really a daytime semi-formal scent, neither. But if you do have to wear a suit and tie to work, this is a great scent for that. Very inoffensive, it's mass appealing. I find that this is more so of a, of a dad fragrance. I kind of said that in my review, I believe. But this really is more so for someone who just wants a few fragrances in their rotation. So like two summer fragrances, two winter, two fall, you know, just someone who wants between eight to 10 fragrances in their collection. I think that this is a great scent. Wait till it hits the discounters and that's gonna be in the very near future. I believe I got this for like, oh wow, like 135 Canadian, which is like 100 to like 105 USD. When it does hit the discounters, I wouldn't spend more than, I would spend between 40 and $50 USD. $55 USD tops. And the last one in this very video, I believe it's a discontinued scent, but you could still get it online, fairly easily available, but you are gonna have to shop around because the price tag is starting to go up a little bit on this one here. But we're gonna be talking about Bulgari Aqua Pur Um Marine. This one, I believe, came out in, oh God, 2008. The original came out in like 2001 or 2005. There's like four or five flankers to this one here and they haven't really done a flanker to this one in a really long time. But the note breakdown, grapefruit, seaweed, rosemary, woods, watery notes, neroli, and so on. So what you're gonna get is that this is a very fresh, green, sea salty type of set. So the sea salty is that seaweed, which that which does give it that salty vibe, but also that green vibe. You're also gonna get the watery notes, you're gonna get that rosemary, which kind of gives it that herbaceous touch, and it's just a fresh, casual, inoffensive type of scent. I find that this is probably the most casual fragrance in this entire video. This is great for school. It's good for work. I, I, I would reach for other things. I would probably go for this one or even like the, the glacial one instead of this one. This is not really gonna get you through the entire work day neither. But for me, it's more of a casual kind of scent. Very mass appealing, very fresh. It's green, it's citrusy, it has that clean component. I like it. Longevity off this is five to six hours. Guys, I just gave you my top five Bulgari fragrances. As usual, any reviews that I've done, they will be in the description below. And if you do want to see other top five brand lists, such as Guess, Zagna, Ferragamo, then please check out this side here. And if you want to check out some great winter or summer fragrances, I might put one of each, then check out this side here. So if you like this very video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell. Guys, thank you for your time, take care, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.